we've been at sea for about a month and um, had a short layover in Bermuda uh, to refuel for a little bit. But I wanted to talk a little bit about our communications and uh, charging. On the boat, you can charge when you have the generator running, which is only an hour or two a day. So when we're shooting a lot of video or uh, want to use our satellite messengers, you got to make sure that they're charged up. So basically, um, while we're away, we want to have some portable battery storage and also be able to have our communications set up. Like I communicate with the office every single day and I do that in a couple of different ways. So if we have uh, the generator running, we can be charging like this Goal Zero battery or this Duro battery here <clears throat> and have that charge off the generator. And then when we want to charge our devices, we can charge our devices. So here are the devices that mainly we're using on the, uh, the you know, the sailboat while we're at sea. Um, we've been at sea like this for, you know, weeks on end. And these are the things that we're, we're generally charging. So um, our phones, of course, uh, great for video and photographs. So, you know, having the appropriate cord and we can charge our batteries up. And then when we're ready, we can charge our device up. And then the, the GoPro, I like this mount here because there's a lot of holes and stuff like this on the boat, which make it convenient to uh, hang the GoPro from. And then I have the app where we can run it through our telephone uh, onto the GoPro app. You can use the app to turn it on and off. I also like uh, kind of what would be a selfie stick. This one has a little tripod mount at the bottom. You can't really use that on the boat. Um, I'm not taking a lot of selfies with it, but actually it's great for like panning around and hold. And it's also retractable, so you can so you can hold it out. You can lean it against something. A lot of times I'll lean it against something like that to keep it more steady and you got a good mount system there you know so the retractable GoPro mount is really good you can get down close to the water you can hold it high in the air a lot of different situations anywhere you go so those are the two GoPro mounts that I use and then as far as communication devices uh, the inReach setup is, is awesome uh, these both of these devices the inReach uh, Explorer the inReach Mini great for communications so uh, with the plan that we have uh, on a trip like this we have the freedom plan so we'll up the freedom plan to be able to send unlimited text messages it also has tracking so we turn the tracking on we can keep track of our hours our exact uh, track every 10 minutes along the way and um, our overall mileage but then also we can communicate anytime text message or email also have the iridium phone here the satellite phone satellite phone is pretty good I actually think that the uh, text messaging system on the inReach is better just because uh, we get so much communication all the communication we need from text message you call on the telephone you got to make sure that somebody's there to answer the phone that the hours with the time change link up and then a lot of the times it's hard to hear. It's a little bit also, um, uh, it does drop the call after a while sometimes. So it depends. I mean, if you need to talk on the phone, the satellite phone's ideal, but if you can get away with just text messaging, I recommend the Garmin uh, InReach Mini. Actually, it's small and uh, the battery life is good and you can text as much as you want. The only difference between these two devices is the Garmin Explorer is gonna have a little bit more uh, GPS and, and navigational tools which you know we have on board here or most of the time you don't really need so um, the mini is going to do everything that you need it to um, but this is about it we have our batteries we have our communication devices and we have our video camera and video stuff on the GoPros and that's about all that we're using on the ship we we'll get to port we'll use the drone a little bit more and some other stuff but uh, this is our communications and our charging and everything we need for shooting videos and cameras on our trip across the North Atlantic and uh, most of the places that we go around the world. I think one of the important things with your camera charging setup is that it's one, convenient to use, uh, two, you have the battery power to recharge everything that you need, 
and uh, three, I'd say it's not too enormous and bulky. You can do a lot of good video. It might not be the highest movie quality. It might not be um, super, you know, film worthy. But uh, for getting the point across and sharing uh, what you're doing, it has to be convenient, else it'll live in your pack a lot, or you won't, you know break it out to use it a lot. So one of the other new devices that I'm really liking is this uh, Osmo Pocket. So it's just a handheld gimbal set up like that. And um, man, it just really, really shoots really cool uh, steady uh, cam video. And it's super small. I had one of these years ago where I had to put the phone in the side and uh, it was like a whole big handheld thing, way too big, way too long to uh, set up. If I do want to, I can take this little adapter right here and flip it over and plug my phone inside to use my phone as a screen. But really, I mean, the setup is like this quick. Now it's ready to go. So um, that was way more convenient. The one that I had previously you have to plug the phone in and you have to wirelessly hook the phone to the Osmo and you know five minutes later you're ready to shoot video you know in action video in, in where you're busy doing things um, uh, you, you really don't have time for that you, even on this trip where we're like in the heat of really bad storm situations and sailing and things like that you could have some cameras mounted maybe uh, take a little bit of video as you can but really it's a safety issue and being able to stop and take video you don't have someone designated to video you have to do your job first and be safe first and shoot video or photographs as you can but not compromise safety at the same time so that's really important part of it but uh, yeah this little setup here some of our devices really super small and convenient uh, to use even the drone that I use now the Mavic Air is super small super convenient lasts for 25 minutes maybe have three batteries plenty um, obviously on the boat you really can't fly the drone too much because uh, it's hard to land it back on the sailboat um, and you're usually moving and it's usually hopefully windy and, and you can't get there as well but and these are the devices that uh, we shoot with and really fun to uh, make these videos.